My name is Zahida. I grew up in Guyana and I moved to Minnesota August 1st, 1989. I was the age of 11 when I moved to Minnesota. It was my first experience with snow. When I look back at picture from high school, I was how happy I was and how independent I was. I never depended on anyone than myself. I was in an arranged marriage. I divorced my husband because he was abusive and I ended up being homeless. I went to the woman's batter shelter in Egan and that's where I got referral to guilt and I have a caseworker. When I first met Zahida, Guild had already helped her get her own apartment, so housing wasn't an issue. What was the issue was her anxiety and depression were so debilitating that it was really hard for her to do any sort of daily um, care for herself or get out of her apartment. She'd report crying spells to me very frequently and just days on end where she was struggling with eating and staying hydrated and not even necessarily leaving the apartment to go get her meal. I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety in 2005. With the depression and the anxiety, you feel like you're in a dark side. You're all alone by yourself. You don't have a shoulder to lean on. Guild service is always good because they give you a lot of tools to use, a lot of research and what to get help from the community. They also make sure I get my medications and went to my psychiatry and my psychotherapist. Stuff what I never know before I get to know. I feel Zahida's come a really long way in the time that she's had Guild Case Management Services. And the hugest thing that I think is that she is working and maintaining a job. Initially, what Zahida wanted to do was to figure out what job she wanted. She didn't really know, so I noticed her place was immaculate, and uh, she told me she loved to clean, so it just seemed like that might be a good start. Um, when I suggested it, she loved the idea. I'm a custodian. I work at a grocery store. I always get feedback that I'm doing a good job at work. She used to try and work on and off, and it would not always end up being long-term, and this is the longest that she's held a job, as well as um, just balancing work and personal life to the point where she is still getting out and enjoying and doing things versus isolating at home. Gil has helped her in a lot of ways, and she met me there. So I was at the Gil's community support uh, for myself, uh, and uh, just uh, at the come for the drop-in center, socialize. Once I went up to Guild CSP, he asked me how I got here. I told him I'd take the bus, and then he offered me a ride home. So I take the ride home, but then he also offered me his phone number, which I didn't take his phone number, I just gave him my phone number. <laughs> Zahida and I have been in relationships uh, for 14 years. Nowadays, we like to do va some vacation stuff. Uh, we did trips to uh, Branson, Missouri, uh, to Colorado, the South Dakota, Black Hills, and a bunch of trips to Ely. Before I met Zahida, I, I don't recall eating Indian food much. I never used to eat out much, and when I did, it was fast food, McDonald's, or yeah, cook, cook simple stuff at home for myself. Mike fell in love with my cooking. He liked the curry stuff, because you do masala, you do curry powder, your pepper, your onion. I like stuff like that. And then when you're getting exercise in the kitchen, but it's always getting your mind off of other stuff, what's happening around you. She's learning to get over um, some difficult memories and sometimes when you're out with people it kicks that up um, so my hope is that you know with the help of her therapist and her case manager and myself 
that she'll be able to have compassion for people who maybe aren't in a good place or aren't having a good day, um, but that it won't affect her the way it used to, um, making her want to just stay home. It's a tough road. You have to fight it. I push myself to get my outings. I like my outings. I like to go out and see what's happening in the world than being in the dark. I want to see the light. 